Shalom. Welcome to this edition of Word Pictures in Ancient Hebrew. We continue our journey through the Old Testament, choosing words that we find in the Old Testament and transposing them from modern English and modern Hebrew into ancient Paleo-Hebrew with the use of the pictograph forms of the alphabet, as you can see on the chart on the screen. The word we're going to look at in this edition is the word honor, kavod, honor, kavod in the Hebrew. You can see it's a three-letter word. It's spelled with the kaf, the bet, and the dalet, spelling from right to left as we do in Hebrew. The kaf, of course, is the picture of an open hand, and it stands for to be open, to allow, to invite someone in, to give them all of something. The bet is a picture of a floor plan of a tent, and it stands for the idea of a tent, a house, a home, or being inside. And of course, the dalet is the picture of a door. Uh, doors in that particular time, in ancient times, were made of the skin of animals, and they simply dangled as, as a, a skin would when it was hung up in an opening. And it means for the doorway, or to enter, or to start on a path of some kind of journey. So we see that the meaning of the word kavod in the Hebrew in ancient times would have been heavy, or what opens the inside door. Uh, something that might help us understand this a little bit would be the idea of value. And in ancient times especially, not only today, but, but more then uh, than now, uh, the value of something was measured by its weight. In other words, if you had some kind of exchange medium that you used to buy and sell with, it was handled by weight. And so the more weight you had, the more heavy it was, the more it would open the door for you, as it were, to be able to use it as a medium for exchange. We see as we look into the scriptures in the book of Exodus that the Lord tells uh, Moses to tell the people to honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. In other words, open the inner door to yourself, to your father and to your mother. That allows them to teach you, to guide you, to give you wisdom and discernment, and to prepare you for the journey that you are on in life. That word makes perfect sense. The psalmist says this, Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your kavod be above all the earth. In other words, let the massiveness, the weightiness of who you are that shows that you are above any other, be over all of the earth. What a beautiful picture for the word uh, kavod in the Hebrew. The psalmist says in Psalm 91, remember that particular psalm, it's one of those that we love, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It goes on to say, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Isn't it interesting that not only do we honor God, not only do we ascribe honor to him and, and offer that honor to him, but he's told us that he will honor us as we call upon him. He will give us answers and he will honor us. What does that mean? He opens the inside door into the journey of life that he has called us on. What a beautiful picture. Isn't it nice to know that God wants us not only to invite him into the inner chamber of our life, but he wants to invite us into the inner chamber of the kingdom so that we can be effective in his desires, his eternal purposes. What a beautiful word. Well, thank you once again for joining me for this edition of Word Pictures in Ancient Hebrew. Until we get together again, shalom. Shalom.